This fragrance review is so overdue, but today we're going to talk about it because this fragrance literally deserves its flowers. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, and today we are doing a dedicated fragrance review. This scent is so appropriate for the month of love. It's February when I'm filming this, and the fragrance we are talking about today is none other than from the house of Givenchy, honey. Givenchy L'Enchanté Rouge is the fragrance we will be discussing. I have had this fragrance for a long time, almost a year now, so this one is a tried and true, well-worn fragrance, and I'm finally ready to give my thoughts on it. So if you're interested, stay tuned. But before we get into the details of Givenchy's L'Enchanté Rouge Elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day today, everyone. I'm having a pink moment, as you can tell. We're giving cheek, we're giving lip. Lipstick of the day is from MAC, and this is the shade Mare. And I have that linked below and listed as always, but Mare is a very natural, neutral, blue-based pink that I can literally put on in the dark and throw some gloss over it and live my best life. So MAC Mare is your lipstick of the day. Again, it'll be in the description box as always. Next up, we have fragrance of the day. I'm actually rocking a sample today. This is one of my fragrances that's on my wish list and it was kindly sent to me from an elf. Love that. This is Creed Aventus for her. Lovely amount decanted and I've been wearing this. I'm enjoying it. It's the green apple note for me. And yeah, it's definitely still on the wish list. Full bottle worthy. I will be getting into it later on in the year. Creative Ventures for her is your fragrance of the day. Makeup moment because we're having a pink moment and your girl is giving cheek again. I was able to get my hands on the new Juvia's Place Volume 4 Blush Jewel. This is the pink one. This thing has been sold out everywhere thanks to TikTok and I decided to play in it. Let me tell you something, a little bit goes a very long way with this one. <laughs> so I'm still figuring it out, but I'm enjoying this. So again, the blush is the Juvia's Place Volume 4. I'll link it where you can get it. And without further ado, let's get into this dedicated review to Givenchy's La Entrite Rouge. <laughs> So just a little bit of information when it comes to this fragrance, because you notice how we do when it comes to dedicated reviews. I always rate fragrances by four categories. The first category is mood, and that is how does this fragrance make me feel? What feelings of emotion is it giving me? Second is strength, and that is on a scale of one to 10, with one being just a pretty bottle with water on the inside, and 10 being nuclear juice that I have to scrub to get it off. Third category is longevity, and that is how many hours long lasted is this fragrance? on the skin and or clothing. Then the fourth category, which is very important to a lot of people, and that is, is this a compliment getting fragrance? Yes or no? We talk about it there. So now you know how we do fragrances in a dedicated review. So now let's talk about Givenchy. So this fragrance is not a new fragrance. You would think it would be, especially since it's still getting a lot of traction, particularly here on YouTube, but it came out in 2021. So this fragrance is pushing two years old at this point. So not a brand new fragrance, but that's how you know something is good when it's still being talked about even after the year it's released. So that's a good sign. Released in 2021, it comes in three sizes, this fragrance, which I didn't know that. I thought it only came in two, but when you go on Givenchy's official website, you see there's three. There is a 35 ml size. That one retails for $87. Then there is the 50 ml size that retails for $113. And then there is the 80 ml size that one retails for $135. Myself, being who I am, this was the only size available in Ulta last year during my birthday month. I'm a March baby. And they had it in there and the sales associate told me about it. And she was like, no girl, you need to smell this. Cause I went in there trying to get Donna Born Aroma at the time, just back during the TikTok hype of it. But she was like, that's cute, but you need to get your nose on this. And I smelled it and I ended up going back for it the very next day. It was a 24 hour decision for me. I went back and picked it up on my lunch break. Like, yes. So Givenchy Lingerie Rouge, this is an Eau de Parfum. So everybody knows what the concentration is. And like I said, this is the 80 ml box. That's the one I got. I got the big bottle. They had like a special one with fragrance at the time. I had some Ulta points. So I didn't end up spending the full 135 at the time. Very happy about that. <laughs> but here is the bottle. This is what it looks like. It is a very sexy deep dark red type of bottle. And that's how they have this fragrance written up. It's meant to be more sensual, more sexy. Just, it's supposed to be given all of that. It's more spicy. And I think personally, the bottle definitely gives that vibe. I think they nailed it with the presentation. 
Now when it comes to the Givenchy L'Entredit line, this is like the third installment of it. There is the original Givenchy L'Entredit, which I do like, and it is on my wish list. I want it for the springtime because that one has more of a Perno orange blossom vibe. Then there is the um, L'Entredit, the intense one, that's the black bottle one. That one I finally did smell in person. It has more of a black pepper note. It is intense, it's nice, but to me, it's not giving, in my opinion, what the Rouge is giving. And the connecting factor in all of them to me is an orange blossom note. So if you're an orange blossom fan, then you will kind of dig this fragrance in my opinion. So let me get into the official notes for you all. According to Givenchy, which I like them, they have very detailed notes. Love that. So this is considered a floral, spicy, woody type of fragrance, which, okay, very different and very unique for a designer. I like that. We have base notes of Essence of Patchouli Heart, Indonesia, Essence of Sandalwood. Then we have head notes of, let's see here, we have Essence of Sicilian Blood Orange, Red Spice Accord, and then the Heart Notes. We have Orange Blossom Absolute. Then we have Jasmine Sandback as well. They also note Tuberose, which personally, I get Tuberose in this fragrance, so I'm glad they have it highlighted as well on here. For the sake of the video, let me go ahead and reacquaint myself with this fragrance, even though I have been wearing it more as of late because this bottle just screams February and Valentine's Day season. It just does. So yeah, let's let that dry down and let's see what it's giving. <laughs> Straight up, you all, this is a spicy fragrance. Let me tell you, if you don't like spicy fragrances, stay away from this. It's spicy, but it's smooth at the same time. I definitely get that blood orange in here. I get that tuberose that's like right in the middle of the fragrance. And I do get a little bit of that orange blossom. But it's like, there's like a fiery essence in this fragrance. So mood, let me tell you. It's still giving sweet, but it's definitely spicy, like literally like something's on fire and I'm here for it. This is a sexy day night fragrance for the mood. Hands down, this is giving, I'm wearing all red. I'm talking red lipstick or red dress and I'm about to have red nails. It's just giving scarlet and red and I'm here for it. <laughs> This is very, very sexy. And for this to be a designer fragrance, you don't smell this type of combination every day. So I truly think this fragrance is unique. Oh, I love this. I love this fragrance. I, I love it. Mm. That pimento leaf in here is something serious. The sandalwood in this fragrance, you all I had to re-reference my notes. The sandalwood in here definitely is what smooths this out. It's like a well-blended drink. That's really what this is giving. But it's a well-blended drink that still has a kick to it, a fiery kick. This is fabulous. Now let's talk about strength on a scale of one to 10. On a scale of one to 10, Givenchy La Entredite Rouge, this fragrance is giving a seven because even though it's spicy, it has that floralness going, that white floral vibe going, it's still not so loud where it's overpowering. It's just well blended. It's extremely well blended. And for that, I give it a seven because it does project, you know, it's there, but it isn't nuclear. It's doing just what it needs to do. It's just enough. Because it is stronger, it might irritate a lot of people's noses because of that spicy factor. So I think this being a seven is good. I like that. Now let's talk about longevity in this fragrance. Longevity for the Givenchy is the Rouge. This fragrance, I've gotten a solid seven to eight hours out of this fragrance. Again, I've worn this multiple times, multiple situations from family gatherings on up to actual date nights. Every time it still gives me seven to eight hours. It, that's just solid where it is. So I think this is a good fragrance. That what I mean by seven to eight hours, I don't have to touch it up. That's before it turns into a skin scent. So I can still smell it. And especially like on my clothing, it really hooks fabrics and clothing very, very well. Now the last category that is very important for a lot of people is simply, is this a compliment getting fragrance? You all, let me tell you something. Absolutely. Hands down, this is a certified compliment magnet. If you all recall, this actually made one of my most complimented fragrances list, if I'm not mistaken. And if not, it's an honorable mention, but this fragrance, because I had it, like I said, back in March and I was able to wear the majority of 2022. This fragrance is certified compliment magnet. I've gotten so many compliments from women as well as from men. This is one of those fragrances people literally have stopped me and asked, what are you wearing? That is really, really good. I haven't smelled you wear this, particularly like people that's around me a lot. They was like, wait, that's different. That's not what you normally wear, it's spicy. So this one does stop people in their tracks. Now granted for a designer, of course, Givenchy, the prices are, mm, 
they're still about average for what a designer fragrance is giving but i think this fragrance because it's so unique this one if you told me this was a niche fragrance because of their woody spicy factor not just orange blossom and tuberose like we smell everywhere i would believe you i would totally believe this was a niche fragrance this one you don't smell everywhere i have yet to smell this anywhere now you might smell the original givenchy laundry but you're not going to smell the rouge everywhere nope you're not you're not and i've noticed a lot of places only have it like online only and i noticed this fragrance sells out a lot so that's letting me know that this fragrance is getting more traction more people are getting hip to it and i think it deserves the hype because like i said it was hyped up on the youtube like when it first came out then it died down now it's back like i said i bought mine last year and i'm still reaching for it so this wasn't a oh i bought it because i saw everybody talking about it just to be a part of the crew no i still wear this fragrance i've been wearing it in every season and it's giving in every season particularly i'm enjoying this in the cooler weather because of the spiciness i can better handle it under my layers my scarf my coat i just think it adds an extra sensual sexy vibe to cold weather i like this but you can wear it when it's warmer but just be aware that pimento note and that spice is magnified in the heat so just be ready for it if you choose to do it i wouldn't wear it as much but in the cold weather you can spray away live your best life and go home <laughs> so all in all i think this is a solid release from Givenchy l'entredite the whole lineup obviously this was the first one i purchased it's the only one i own from the line i do plan again to get the original one because it is cute i think it's a wonderful daytime fragrance but she's cute but launched it rouge she's a vixen and that's just the best way to put it she's a certified vixen she's sexy and i enjoy it and i have to add head elf absolutely loves this fragrance in fact he requested i wear it when we go out on date night so that's why i'm telling you what i know this is a date night scent <laughs> honey this is it the men love this one let me know what you think in the comments below do you like this fragrance Givenchy she rouge do you like this one or do you like another one of the other flankers i saw too lately they've been hyping up and talking about their eau de toilette in the original version i'm not buying anything that's edt at this phase in my fragrance collection i just know anywho it's an eau de parfum or nah or above or it needs to be an extra elixir or something but i'm not fooling with that the toilet just now so let me know what you think about the lineup but in particular the rouge version this is certified approved i love this it's yes it's a win so let me know what you think as always else and until next time i will catch you in the next video bye y'all